Welcome to ESOL Curriculum and Lesson Planning, brought to you by the Sabe's ESOL Curriculum and Instruction Professional Development Center. Lesson plans are not created in a vacuum. They are part of the larger ESOL curriculum, a coherent program-wide plan that gives an overview of the skills and knowledge students are expected to learn at each class level. A curriculum is made up of three essential elements, the scope and sequence, along with unit plans and lesson plans. A curriculum is the entirety of the educational content that will be delivered in a program, including information about the program's mission, class structure, and approach to teaching, the makeup of the students and their primary goals, and instructions for how teachers are expected to use the curriculum. The scope and sequence for each class level is an outline for each level through a learning cycle, which is a semester, a trimester, an academic year, a calendar year, however your program defines its learning cycles. The scope and sequence is made up of units that will be taught through that learning cycle. In the scope and sequence, the units are sketched out to give a clear idea of what students will learn at each level. These unit sketches are developed more fully in the unit plan themselves. Unit plans include more details about the objectives and assessments as well as a suggested sequence of lessons. Lesson plans themselves provide more details and instructions for how a lesson will proceed from beginning to end. While some programs include teachers in the development of their scope and sequences and unit plans, it is in the lesson planning where teachers usually have the most control and flexibility to adapt the curriculum to their particular group of students and to their own teaching style. For adult ESOL programs in Massachusetts, all curriculum and instruction must be aligned to the Massachusetts English Language Proficiency Standards or the Mass ALPS. The Mass ELPS includes standards and benchmarks for six levels of ESOL in reading, writing, and speaking and listening, as well as the standards for navigating systems and civics. The Mass ELPS integrate college and career readiness with language skills to ensure that ESOL practitioners are all on the same page in terms of providing rigorous language instruction for all learners at every proficiency level. It's important for teachers of all adult ESOL to understand the Mass ELPS and to align their lessons to them. The Mass ELPS can be very helpful in curriculum development in general and in lesson planning in particular for several reasons. They provide guidance and language for articulating objectives, assessments, and activities. They remind teachers to include all of the language skills in their instruction, reading, writing, speaking, and listening and to contextualize their lessons in civics or in such systems as healthcare, education, the workplace, or community. And they provide guidance for how to create rigorous instruction that will help learners be college and career ready, not just attain survival English skills. And an ESOL curricula, including lesson plans, should also reflect the principles of second language acquisition. Curriculum and instruction should be relevant to the learners' lives, their goals, needs, interests, and cultural identities. They should provide communicative activities to maximize student interaction and engagement. They should challenge learners without overwhelming them, ensuring their success and progress, which all learners need to stay motivated. They should include differentiation and scaffolding to meet the diverse needs of learners and assessment, formative throughout the lesson, summative at the end, as well as student self-assessments. What is a scope and sequence? The scope and sequence spells out in broad strokes what is covered and in what order at each class level. The scope lays out the depth and breadth of content and skills to be covered. The sequence provides the order in which those skills and content will be taught over time. A scope and sequence provides information in two directions, horizontally and vertically. Horizontally by level, it shows the progression of content knowledge and language skills as learners move through that level. 
and vertically it shows the progression and transition from one level to the next. The Massachusetts Department of Elementary and Secondary Education and SABES develop templates for programs to use to create a scope and sequence. Here you will find the definitions and intentions of the scope and sequence template laid out for you. As you continue to review the template, you will find that it shows all of the necessary components of an ESOL scope and sequence. So let's take a look at it now. On the template itself, you will find each of the following elements for each unit. The title should contextualize language learning around a topic that is relevant to adults. The time is estimated number of hours and weeks needed to complete the unit. The unit goal and rationale is a broad statement of what students will learn from the unit and why the unit is important. Unit outcomes and culminating assessment describe what students will do to demonstrate their learning. For example, through what culminating project or task will they demonstrate that they have met the unit goal. The priority mass ELP standards and benchmarks. Here are the three to five priority mass ELP standards and benchmarks that align to the unit goals and will be explicitly taught and assessed in this unit. And the instructional resources and materials include a variety of authentic, diverse, rigorous materials that students will read, listen to, and watch, including digital resources. As mentioned earlier, the scope and sequence sketches out the units. The unit plan itself goes into a lot more detail, so let's look at unit planning now. DESC and SABES also created a unit plan template to help practitioners. The unit plan template has two parts. Part one, which you see here, includes the same exact information from the scope and sequence unit sketch that can simply be copied and pasted into the template. Part two includes more details. As we begin the unit plan, you'll start with the essential questions. These are open-minded, thought-provoking questions that help students connect and engage intellectually with the unit. Then there are the unit objectives, which should include both language and content that align to the unit goal and standards from part one. The unit plan also describes how the objectives will be assessed. That is, how students will demonstrate that they've learned the objectives through what activity or task, and how teachers and students will measure the extent of the learning, for example, through a rubric or a checklist. An ESOL unit plan also includes a list of key vocabulary and grammar targeted in the unit. Teachers will add to this list when writing their more detailed lesson plans. In the template, you will find a reminder to review the unit plan through the different lenses to make sure these elements have been addressed. And these lenses are contextualization, culturally responsive teaching practices, differentiation, digital literacy, and technology. And finally, the unit plan includes a suggested sequence of learning. Let's take a closer look at lesson planning now. A lesson plan is the most detailed component of a curriculum and reflects the steps a teacher needs to follow to achieve the goal and outcome of a lesson. Lesson plans are also the least prescribed and most flexible components of a curriculum. They include individual designs for one or two class sessions of a unit. They provide detail for how a class will progress from beginning to end, and they're tailored to address the needs of particular students at a particular time. The DESC SABES template for lesson plans includes these components. The lesson's content and language objectives, evidence of learning, also known as the assessments. They include learning target statements. These are essentially the objectives written from a student's perspective the Mass ELPS benchmarks that align with the lesson's objectives more than the priority ones identified in the unit plan, additional targeted vocabulary and grammar, and then the learning plan. The learning plan is where you describe step by step what you and what the students will be doing through the lesson. It includes an introduction to the warm-up, 
where you support learners in connecting new material to their lives, and the body of the lesson where you generally release responsibility of the learning to the students incorporating the I do, we do, and you do model. It includes the wrap up where you provide opportunity for students to reflect on their learning along with your reflections for future lesson planning. The template has a place to write the materials and time allotted for each part of the lesson and how you will differentiate instruction to support the needs of all learners. And finally, the template has some useful reminders, for example, to check for understanding, to use rigorous, culturally relevant materials and tasks, including digital ones, to engage learners with a variety of interactive activities, and other helpful tips. Thank you so much for joining us.